モグラを追う八神たちに松金組の包囲網が狭まっていく1年前海藤の破門をきっかけに塗り替えられた松金組内部の勢力図だが全ては仕組まれていた裏社会の掟に翻弄されるカムロ町の男たちいつかその流れに一矢報いようと彼らはあがき続けるなあ東よお前なんで仕事手抜いてんのかないえ自分はそんななら何なでまだターボーがうろちょろしてんだよてめえがなってねえからなめられてんだろうががいるとよ事務所が窮屈でいけねえぜ。うん。<笑>ずっとうだうだ機嫌悪いし。<笑>死ねー<笑><笑><笑>登場会系松金組事務所前で銃撃一人死亡か死んだのは栗本って組のフルカムだ流れ玉で肩着にも怪我人が出てる栗本いやお前は知らねえかもな別に目立つやつじゃなかった犯人は自称会社員その場で現行犯逮捕そいつは教令会の送り込んだ鉄砲玉だ間違いないのかああ昨夜東から聞いたんでなへえこの間俺らに銃向けてたあいつが<笑>そう言ってやるなよあいつの話じゃ犯人は栗本の体にまず弾を4発でとどめに両目を撃ち抜いた目を要するに教霊界からモグラへの報復だだがこうなると松金組どころか登場界本家も黙ってねえ教霊界との報復合戦になるかああ今のカムロ町は相当やべえぞ東もそう言ってた Well, I'm sorry, but that's not really my、uh, place to intervene, you know? I'm just a detective. I'm not about that Yakuza life. That was a different life. Different person. Anyway, hello everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Judgment. On the last session, we had a little heart to heart and fist to fist with Hideyashi, and we were, well, at least that guy over there was able to get through to him. <sighs> At least I hope they did. And in this episode, it seems we got our work cut out for us once again, and it's also related to the Matsugano family, because of course it is. 
Yo, Kaito, anything else you want to mention? Yube, Jugekino Tokiwa, Higashimo Jimushoni Tarashi. I didn't talk on a Matananika Johonga height take to come on. Oh, but you know that guy doesn't like me. <sighs> All right, fine. I'll swim by the arcade, I guess, if I have to. Jeez. It actually is cool, but I don't think we see eye to eye with each other right, you know, yet. Huh? Why is Hoshino Cone calling me? Hello, this is Yagami. Yagami san. Uh, Yagami san, you, you, you gotta help me. Hey, what's the matter? Uh, there's been an incident at Gendalore office. Eh? What do you mean? Uh, just uh, something terrible happened. You gotta get down here. Uh. All right, I'll be right there. Oh, great. Now there's stuff going down at the law office. I mean, it's been a while since I've been there, but jeez. This is not what I need in my morning. All right, we don't have a moment to lose. What's going on? Fire? Break-in? Murder? Double murder? Matt's homicide? Hashino-kun, what's going on? Why have I... Why do I feel like I've just stepped into an intervention? Wait, what the... You did it, so admit it already. Huh? I told you I didn't do it! There's no point in lying. Nah. Hey, 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 hey. Yagami-san. Yagami-san, you came. Yagami yeah, I did, but I don't know what into? Yagami-kun. Ma Mafuyu's here too? Hoshino-kun, what in the world is going on? I thought this was serious. It is serious. As you can see, Sayori-san and Mafuyu-san have accused me of a crime. A crime, huh? <sighs> yeah, and I'm innocent, I tell you. Well, here we go. Okay. What is he being suspected of? No. What does Sayori-san think you did? Yeah. I, I didn't do anything! She's just upset about a stupid cake! Hmm? Her... cake? Y yes! I've been accused of eating the cake she had in the fridge! Huh? This is not just any old stupid cake we're talking about. It was from Goto Gato. It was a special event cake that I waited in line for hours to get! Eh? Huh? Is this really happening right now? You know what, Yagami? Honestly, considering all of the dire shit we've been, uh... Getting ourselves involved with lately... This is a nice change of pace! I mean, opposed from the other weird shit that we get ourselves involved with... I, you know what, now that I think about it... We don't really pay attention to all of the serious things we really should be. But hey, now we got a ninja friend out of it, so I guess we can't complain too much. So, why is Mafuyu here? In that case, why is Mafuyu involved? I'm not. I just happened to drop in on a work-related issue. And you got dragged into this. Mm -hmm. Sayori's pretty worked up. I made inquiries, and it sounds like Hoshino-kun is really the only one who could have done the deed. <laughs> That's why Mafuyu is prosecuting the case for me. Uh, uh, prosecuting? Is that how it is? So, why is Hosho Hoshino the one being it suspected here? Nah. Okay, I'll buy. Why is Hoshino-kun the most likely suspect? Hoshino-kun was the only one who even knew about the cake. Uh, only because she was bragging about having got it in the first place. How does that make me a suspect? Okay, we need facts. When was the cake last seen? I went home around 8pm last night, and the cake was most certainly in the fridge at the time. I was here for another two hours or so after that, but nobody else came in. Then, mm. presuming Hoshino-kun is innocent, it had to have been eaten between 10pm and this morning. Are you sure you locked up the office? Aye. 
Yes, I'm sure. Jeez. There are no signs of forced entry, so I think the rules out. Uh, that rules out external parties as the culprit. I see. And who unlocked the office this morning then? Genda Sensei got here before me, but he left as soon as I came in. After that, Mafuyu san arrived. Sayori san was the last to arrive. And that's when I discovered my cake was gone. Oh wow, this is actually a thing. This is actually a thing we're doing right now. I have so much more important business to do. Yeah, again, I don't know why I'm... I, I don't know why I'm focusing on the fact that this isn't... Uh, this isn't super important compared to all of the other dumb shit that I've done in this game that isn't super important. I I guess it's just because it's the classic, Oh, someone ate the cake in my fridge and um, I've been there before. Uh, university life can be really fun sometimes. So maybe this is hitting a little bit too close to home. But that would mean Genda Sensei is also a suspect. He could have eaten it while he was alone in the office. Yeah. No way. Genda Sensei is a Japanese sweets man. He doesn't go for Western cakes and pastries. <sighs> That's your justification? But I guess he wouldn't have much of a motive if it's true. Nah. You're up against the wall, Hoshino kun. Why don't you just come clean? <gasps> Fuyu san, please! I'm telling you, I didn't do it! The longer you hide your crimes, the heavier your sentence is going to be, Hoshino-kun. Uh, objection! If you ask me, Mifuyu-san is pretty suspicious too. <gasps> I excuse me? Did you just yell objection for the fun of it? No. And do you care to tell the court what you meant by that little comment? After Mafuyu-san came in, I left my desk to go to the bathroom, and let's just say I was gone for about 15 minutes. A little bit too much information, but I appreciate your honesty. Mafuyu-san could have easily starved down the whole cake in that time. Huh? But why would I... This is baseless conjecture. Do you have any evidence to back up your statement? Actually, I do. <gasps> huh? Don't think I didn't hear it when you came in here this morning. <laughs> Your stomach growled! But what? You heard that? Yeah. Yes! You skipped breakfast this morning, didn't you? Naturally, you'd be hungry! So you figured you'd just peek in the fridge, and that's when you discovered the exquisite little cake. You couldn't help yourself. You dug right in. Am I wrong? Huh? Y yes, you are, as a matter of fact. Besides, a growling stomach is hardly admissible and of evidence. Why do I have Mafuyu stomach sounds as evidence? Yeah, I don't want to know. I don't want to know the deets deets on her stomach sounds. Yagami Sen, you're up. Mm -hmm. what, uh, I am. Please take my case and defend me. If you don't, Sayori San will glare at me for the rest of my life. And that's my problem. How? Well, if we're talking business, I guess I can take this one. I'm counting on you. Okay, apparently this is really happening, so the first place a good lawyer starts is the crime scene. I wonder if the rapper is still in the trash. Hmm. Well, I did want to do side cases, so I guess this counts as me doing a side case. I mean, the title just appeared right up there, so... I guess this is really happening right now. Hmm. Man, I am so... I'm sorry, guys. This is one of those, like, uh, recording sessions where, um... Okay, here's the trash can. This is one of those recording sessions where... I basically just went, yeah, I'm gonna do this. And then as soon as I sat down to record, like, a wave of tiredness just, like, overflew, um, overflew my brain. But I'm gonna push through it. Mm -hmm. I almost forgot about the cat. Where are you, cat? I heard you. Somewhere. Well, there you are. Oh, look, a cat. Haha, <laughs> for that you were going to escape my focus, did you? Come on, brain, we can do this. We can get through this together. We're gonna have to. 
Okay, maybe not use all of our processing power for this one, but... I at least need a good 30%. I'm seeing that the trash can is empty, usually bursting at the seams. Uh, we take out the trash every day now on a rotating shift. And who was in charge of it today? Uh, Genda-sensei. Huh? Even Genda-sensei pitches in? <laughs> well, it's more of a punishment for him. sayori Sam made him do it. Genda-sensei is really lazy about sorting his trash, so I kind of blew up at him. I said to him, don't you even consider the people who have to take the trash out? Then he said he'd start pitching in on trash duty. <sighs> I'm surprised you had the guts to say that to him. Yagami-san, the other trash cans are empty too. It, it seems Gender sensei takes the trash duty seriously. Noted. Thanks for checking. Okay, so we have an entry trash can, which means no wrapper. Well, this cake must have had a wrapper. Is there anywhere else it could have been thrown away? Well, I suppose it could have been washed out with the rest of the containers in the kitchen. Uh. Let's have a look. Finding that wrapper is going to blow this case wide open. Is it bowl? Well, you don't tell who's did it based on how they opened up their wrapper. Man, Sayori is really tiny. Like, either that or, her, or Hoshino is really tall. One of the two. I guess Mifuyu compared to... I guess Hoshino, Hoshino is actually just extremely tall. Like, holy crap, man. Mm. Let's see what we got I here. Hoshino. No wrappers, but looks like we got some milk cartons. They've been washed out and neatly compacted. Yeah, uh, those are Sayori-san's milk cartons. They weren't there last night, so whoever was on cleaning duty must have done it. <laughs> Uh, Sayori San scolds anyone who doesn't tidy up after themselves. Ooh. But there's three of them. She's not drinking that much milk, is she? I kinda doubt it. Maybe she threw them out for some reason. Hmm. Okay. Three milk cartons. Not sure how that's related to the case, but. Shouldn't discredit it. So, this is the refrigerator. This is the refrigerator where the crime happened. Ooh. Muddy textures and all. Hmm, the ice tray is melted. Or did someone forget to freeze it? Yeah. Nah, couldn't be. Nobody's using ice in the winter, probably. And I didn't see anyone use it yesterday. Mm. Then why did it melt? That's interesting. Hmm. I think I'm starting to get a clearer picture of the crime. Are we actually doing this like a court setup? Okay. Alright, you know what? If you're gonna take it this seriously, I gotta give it my A game too. Alright, come on! Raise those spirits! Let's do this, Yagami. Yagami-san, are you finished with the investigation? If so, we should start the hearing. Okay. The hearing? Are we really going to do a trial with this? Damn right we are! Of course. Mafuyu, or should I say Prosecutor Fuji, are you prepared to present your case? <sighs> Fine, I've been dragged in this far. Might as well see it through. And this court is now in session for the defendant, Issei Hoshino. Prosecutor Fuji, your opening statement, please. I feel like I should just put some Phoenix Wright music in. I might actually add, I might actually put that in post. Uh, well, the prosecution is firmly of the belief that Hoshino Kun is the only viable culprit. And your proof? The defendant is arguing that yourself could be the culprit. Your Honor, I have a counter-argument to that assertion. Proceed, Prosecutor Fuji. If I've been the one who ate it, something that should be present is missing from the crime scene. Right, Yagami-kun? You can corroborate this statement, I take it? Me? If Mafuyu really ate the cake, something that should exist is missing. The proof of that is... The wrapper. The trash can at the seam of the empty was be um, because its contents were removed, removed this morning. Yes, Genta-sensei was the first one in the office today, and that's probably when he took out the trash. 
which means if Mapuyo had eaten the cake, she would have had to discard the wrapper afterward. And since we have all but confirmed that the trash can is empty... Oh, you have a point. Right, there was no wrapper in the trash can, which means I couldn't have eaten the cake. And we've thoroughly searched every trash can. They're all clean as a whistle. I see. This is pretty conclusive evidence. Yeah. Hold it, Sayori San. I can present a counter argument here. The court will hear the defense's objection. While the wrapper may not be in the trash can, we can't rule out that you didn't hide the evidence. Objection! Predictable, Yagami kun. I'd like to present the court with new ev some new evidence. What? New evidence? While you are searching the room, I perform my own investigation naturally. Wait, you did all that while you were standing in one corner of the room? Impressive. That's when this document on Sarah's desk taught, caught my eye. It's a notice of a planned power outage. Relevance, Prosecutor? It seems there was a blackout last night, scheduled from 11pm to 9am the next morning. I do remember Genda said say say something like that. He warned that the whole office not to keep anything in the fridge or it would spoil. Oh, I remember that too. But I had something urgent come up, so I forgot. And so I left and forgot all about it. Hmm? Then that means... Precisely. If the cake was left inside the fridge with no power on, it would have spoiled. Despite being winter, it's been unseasonably warm. And if anyone ate it, they'd know it was spoiled after a single bite. Right. And there's no way anyone would go through with eating the whole thing. But... The whole cake had vanished. Someone must have, de have devoured the fresh cake. And there's only one span of time where that's possible. Not this morning after the cake would have spoiled, but last night when it was still fresh. Oh, uh, hey, wait! I'm afraid so, Hoshino-kun. The only one who could have eaten it was the one who closed up. Hoshino-kun, it could have only been you! That was a good stream. No way! Is there anything I could? No. There's a different possibility. Aori! Uh, I mean, objection! Excuse me? Does the defense have further arguments? Yes. I think it's too early to pronounce a verdict. There's one more possibility. This better be good. The cake wasn't the only thing that went missing from the fridge, and I have evidence to prove it. Because there were milk cartons that were in the fridge. The milk Sayori put in the fridge had been dumped, washed out, and neatly compacted. In other words, the milk was also removed from the fridge, three cartons to be precise. Genta Sensei must have done it during the cleaning duty and acted and act forced to. Ugh. An act forced upon him by the victim herself! I'm not following Yagami Sensei. Well, that's because I cannot speak, but forget that for one second. Let's consider what would drive Genta Sensei to do this. Why would he discard three milk cartons at once if there was some left? You're right, that's certainly an odd thing to do. Why? There is only one particular piece of evidence that points the logic behind his actions. Planned outage. The power outage? Defense, does this line of reasoning have a point? What would happen to milk left inside the fridge for a whole night without electricity? I believe it would go bad. And if Genta Sensei, who had cleaning duty, found the milk had gone bad, he probably would throw it away. Oh, then. It seems the prosecution is beginning to see the light. Which means, the true culprit that ate Sayori-san's cake is... Uh... Nobody? No one ate the cake! In other words, there is no culprit to blame! Uh, uh, NANI?! I can't believe this. You're implying Genta Sensei threw away the spoiled cake? Yeah, that's about the sum of it. Okay, good. That was that was the line of reasoning I was hoping it was gonna go down. 
Sorori said herself that she hurried home last night due to an urgent matter. The outage slipped her mind entirely. Thus, when Genda Sensei found the cake had spoiled, he did his duty and discarded it. So you're saying... I kind of jumped to conclusions. That is precisely what we're saying! Glad to see your honor uh, is in agreement and in understanding. Wow, quite a crowd in here. What brings you by, by the by, Yakumi and Mafuyakun? Welcome back, Genta Sensei. Say, who left that cake and all that milk in the fridge overnight? Didn't I practically beat you guys over the head about the power outage? And on the day I had cleaning duty of old days, it's rude to make people throw away spoiled food, you know. Uh. I believe the words were, don't you ever consider the people who have to take the trash out. Ah, your words, right, Shurosaki-kun? Well, having to deal with all that spoiled food, I understand the meaning all too well now. I... I... I'm so sorry! Oh, Sayori. You know a calm, cool head on those shoulders. But when it comes to sweets... Your mind becomes a jumbled mess, it seems. Thank you, Yagami-san. It looks like I'm cleared of all suspicion. <laughs> and I sentenced Sayori-san to cleaning duty for one month straight, starting tomorrow. There are no words to express my remorse. As my defense attorney, I'd like you to have this, Yagami-san. Thanks. I've got to say, though, I'm pretty shocked. Sayori-san stays cool under pressure, but as soon as sweets get involved... But yep, that's literally what I was just saying. You have no idea how long I've been looking forward to that cake. I can appreciate that, but as lawyers, we need to keep our heads on straight at all times. I'll work on that. Case closed, I guess. Pretty turbulent day for the criminal justice system. Kamurocha is pretty tense right now, so no thanks to the Matsugana family and Kyure clan at each other's throats. Better ask Higashi about it. Back to business as usual, eh, Agami-san? But... I think... That was a nice change of pace, and also a nice way to relax. You know, with all the murders going a lot going um, down right now, it's nice to just sort of let loose and uh, have a less serious case to deal with. Anything you gotta say for yourself? Ouch. I know I just proved you guilty, but that's cold, Sayori. <sighs> what about you, Genda? Anything you want to say on the matter? この間の無罪。蒸し返すなって。頭から <laughs> you don't know the half of it, Genda. Anyway, I'd say before we deal with any of that nonsense, I think we are going to go back to our office and we're going to do a few more side cases that probably have opened up now that a new chapter has started. And maybe even do some of the side cases here if they're available to us. So if you enjoyed this cake-filled turnabout episode of Judgment, then be sure to do that junk I keep on saying to do. And next time, we're going to go back to business as usual, but not the main business that we need to take care of. I'll see you guys then.